What up, what up, my funnel builders? Kyla here, and welcome back to my channel. I've got another funnel building tip for you guys. I'm here to help you save time. I'm here to help you guys create amazing looking funnels. And today I'm going to be showing you how to, this is a screenshot I took of a page I made for a client, how to make the background of one side of your row a different color different color background or different image. Now I'm working exclusively in ClickFunnels. I'm not sure how this applies to other funnel building softwares, but I love ClickFunnels. I've been using them for over four years now and I really have enjoyed using their software. So this is for all those people who are using ClickFunnels, want to build funnels. And this one, this video is not as complicated. This video does not require any coding. So if you're a beginner, or intermediate funnel builder, then this video is great for you. And if you need a brush up for those who are advanced, this is also great. Now, if you want to learn how to do this up here above, I have another video on that. So feel free to go check that out. It's pretty cool, but it is a little bit more advanced. So let's scroll down here. I'm gonna clone it so there's some more space. Okay, so I'm gonna be working with this section right here. I'm in um, a page in ClickFunnels, I'm just on a sales page and I clicked on a template and then I just deleted everything in the template because I tend to work better when I'm just going from complete scratch, but this will work with the within the template or without. But I'm starting with a blank section here and I'm gonna go into the rows. It doesn't matter which one you choose, you can do this with any of them. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose this two column row for here. Now, I want to be able to get a background on just one side of the row versus all of it. Because if I go in here up to settings for the row and I click on background color, it makes the background for the whole row, which is nice. But if you wanted to be able to achieve, um, whoops, wrong page. If you wanted to be able to achieve that other picture I showed you with just one color on one side, then keep watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the background. I'm just gonna make it white. Okay, so here is the secret. Let's put something here so we can see it. Let's put a headline. Let's put a sub headline. So we add something to this side. We'll add a paragraph and we could add a button. Or on, for example, a lot of, uh, this is, oh geez, I can't even talk. This is a great use for also collecting email addresses. So if on one side you wanted to put your inputs, for example, email address here, you want to draw attention to that side because you want people to put in their email address. And then on the left, you could probably do like an image or something like that. But I want to, I want, I really want to make this right side stand out. I want them to read it. I want them to put their email address in. So here is the trick. You're gonna come up here to columns. And once I select that, you can see as I scroll down, the little blue box highlights different columns in the row. And this is where the magic happens. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little button next to the eyeball. And it pulls up settings for the second column. And I'm gonna go here to background color and boom, it makes, the background, just that right side, a different color. But it's, the spacing isn't quite right. That button is right up against that bottom line. And I don't really like that, so I'm just gonna come down here to the bottom and move it down a little bit. Probably up to 30, same here, 30. And you can also do things like adding a border on just this side. So I can click full border, you can make it solid. You can do dashed and you can do dotted. I personally never use the dotted. I usually will only, you know, use solid or dashed. But if I did dash, you can change the size of the dash. So I can go from 10 all the way down to one that you can barely see. So three is usually good. I think that's the default. And then you can change the color of that border. And then once I click off that, you can see how that is a different color than the image on this side. And again, if you wanted to make this all one color, if you wanted to put a border around the entire row, 
you do that just by clicking here on the settings and changing it right here. Now this literally took me days to figure out. I I've seen I saw funnels with it and I was like that's so cool but I didn't know and literally it wasn't until I was taking like this random course and some awesome guy showed it to me on he, it wasn't to me but he was on his video and he just did it really quick and I was like oh and I found it and so I'm hoping to share this with you guys. It's a really cool feature. It's super simple, does not require any coding or anything complicated like that, but it really can change the look of your funnel and bring attention to areas that you want attention to, which is awesome. So I hope this saves you hours of time like it did me. In my case, it was days trying to look for how to change this. So if you liked this video, if you felt like it was helpful, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Like, subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week and tips and dip all things funnel related. So feel free to do that. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.